Right now, though, we are holding the state health department accountable tonight after two different shipments of the vaccine to local facilities went to the wrong locations and it's causing an awful lot of problems locally at the very beginning of the state's vaccine distribution plan. Here's two on your sides, Liz Lewin. Every beginning has some hiccups, and I'm hoping that it's a hiccup and not a trend. That hiccup being the distribution of vaccines to the wrong locations. Earlier this week, Catholic Health received Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center's shipment of the Pfizer vaccine. Joe Ruffalo says as soon as he got the call from the CEO of Catholic Health, he was on a mission. So it was very disheartening when we initially found out that there was no uh, shipment coming our way. And there was a shock factor throughout the organization. We have many, many workers and doctors. After reaching out to the state who complied with the CDC for clearance, Ruffalo says his team was able to pick up their allocation of vaccines from Catholic Health earlier this afternoon. From a logistical standpoint and from a compliance uh, point of view and ease of convenience, much better if uh, we're administering it on our own campus so that employees during their shift can just come up to the clinic, get vaccinated, and go back to their shift. However, this isn't the first distribution hiccup we've seen thus far. ECMC's doses were not sent to ECMC. They were sent to Millard Fillmore Suburban and only in general. I have no idea why. That was Erie County Executive Mark Polencars during his press briefing today. He says with the state overseeing the distribution and tracking process, it assumes responsibility. But the vaccines have not come to Erie County, as I've said. The vaccine went delivery or directly from the hospital, uh, from New York State to the hospitals. ECMC told us they have vaccines and will start their vaccinations tomorrow. As for how these hiccups are affecting the community. My confidence level will um, be strengthened when our next shipment comes. Earlier today, a spokesperson from the DOH couldn't exactly tell me what happened with ECMC. He did, however, tell me that all who qualified now have vaccines. So as these vaccines continue to roll out, we will continue tracking exactly where they go. In Buffalo, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.